Hello, this is Nightmare, the most feared player of Camp 75. Look at this. Look at this. SHT is the rank 2 alliance in the kingdom. Where is TWR? Where are they? Look. They're ranked below my alliance. How do you get ranked below my alliance? Seriously, my alliance has like a whole 10 active players. TWR got ranked below my alliance. They used to be like a rank 1 alliance in the game. So why do they go from rank 1 all the way down to rank 10? Well, because in Sir Elias, I was attacking them nonstop. And they couldn't defend their members. So they lost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of resources. Go watch my past videos. I attacked this alliance nonstop. Their, their leader was trying to attack me. He couldn't make me stop. They're trying to mega rally me. I was taking the mega rally hits. Still didn't make me stop. They all burned down to the ground. So what did they do? They all left the alliance TWR and they all joined the alliance SHT. So now SHT is TWR plus SHT combined. So I seriously killed off an alliance from the game. All by myself. One person killed off a whole alliance. Now I'm going to do this every single alliance in the game. I'm going to kill off every single alliance. ASY is going to be dead. SHT is going to be dead. TU, dead. FIA, dead. RUN, dead. BTS, dead. My goal is to kill off every single last alliance. They're all bugs. They're all going to be squashed under my shoe. One at a time. Like TWR. So, yep. so now they joined up. And now they're trying to destroy my towers. My alliance towers. But guess what? Alliance towers don't even do anything. They gave you like a whole thousand resources per hour. Who cares? I get way more than towers ever give just by attacking one castle. Towers give you nothing. See, so, yep, they're angry. They're stacking up like 10 people at once to attack my towers. So, yeah. So while they're attacking my towers in the normal map, I'm going to attack their alliance. See, so, yes, their alliance is basically over. It's still going on, but no one's in there because they're all too scared to be in there. So they all came back to the normal map, and they all started attacking my towers instead. That was their master plan. They all left TWR. They all joined SHT to attack my towers. That's their whole plan. Well, I'll just attack their members while they attack my towers. I'll get resources, get kills. Look at this guy. 913,000 troops to kill. And boom. Dead. So he lost 65 million power. I got a bunch of dragon experience for killing his million troops. And their alliance is just attacking my towers while I'm doing this. Here's 276,000 troops to kill. Ruthless. Boom. Dead. He lost 22 million power. Here's another guy that attacks 639,000 troops. Stronghold 32 player. Look at his skin. He has a really cool skin. Well, guess what? I guess skins don't help you at all because the guy's boom dead anyway. Boom dead. He lost 43 million power even though he had a cool skin. Here's 318,000 troops. This is Jippy. All these Jippies used to be in TWR. See so yeah, like... Jippy's an SHT, but he has a farm TWR. Because, yeah, TWR joined SHT. They merged to be one alliance to try and stop me from killing them. That's their whole plan. Because TWR by itself couldn't do anything to stop me. It's killing their members nonstop. It's so not like merged different alliance to try and have a better chance of surviving. So here's 535,000 troops, this castle. Boom, dead. 250,000 troops. So yeah, seriously erased TWR. They're gone. It's only a shadow of what it used to be. It's ranked lower than my alliance. And that's low. Trust me. That's low. There's 400,000 troops there. Killed off the screen. Boom, dead. 120,000 troops. Clear Chinese symbol, Chinese symbol, Chinese symbol. Boom, dead. So I'm farming that guy for resources, because might as well. And I'm training troops with this food that I'm getting. 
Look at that, 7,000 iron, 200,000 silver. This guy has 200,000 troops. Zozo. Whom did? 189,000 troops. Yo-yo. Zozo, yo-yo, dead, dead. 123,000 troops. But yeah, seriously, while I'm doing this, they're attacking my towers. What do towers do? Absolutely nothing. So he's going to attack that guy, and someone actually finally woke up. Astral 37 is reinforcing. Look at that. He's under a shield. No surprise there. That's not new. People under shields reinforcing members. Pretty common in this kingdom. Everyone hides under a shield. Let's reinforce members. They're too scared to leave the shield. Then he like can't even get there in time anyway. Because the guy's so slow. Look at this. Strong 41 teleports in. Under. Look at that. A shield. A stronghold 41 player has to be under a shield. To reinforce members. Why can't you reinforce members out of a shield? Why does a strong 37 and 41 have to be under a shield? I wonder. Because they're scared of me. I'm the most feared player. It's quite obvious to see. Why do they have shields on? So I say, so Gene, aren't you supposed to kill me or something? Because this guy always trash talks me in Kingdom Chat. Then he shows up under a shield. He trash talks, but he's under a shield. So I say attack my castle. Lose your shield, at least. Like, seriously. Still under a shield? Why? Why are you teleporting around in a bubble? It makes you look weak. Is this guy serious? And Gene says, I was busy attacking other kingdoms that you are afraid of while you attack farms. We were all impressed. And I say, your alliance literally stacked up eight people on one of my towers. How pathetic is that? They're so scared me had to stack 8 up on a tower. So I won't attack them. Stacking my tower with 8 people is supposed to kill other kingdoms. In a normal map. How can you kill Sir kingdoms while you're in the normal map attacking my towers? Doesn't make any sense. And also, why do you need 8 people on one tower? Are you afraid of me attacking you or something? Like, seriously. You afraid of getting attacked by me? And Gene says they come down faster, not that complicated. So you attack Little Tower at zero troops with eight people. Now I can play when I burn your alliance. And then you teleport around in a shield trying to reinforce your members. That's funny. Gene says your alliance sends one troop to take a tower down for months. How pathetic is that? We have their stronghold one, they're from my YouTube. They're only going to have one troop. Then he says, congrats, your ability in this game limits you to be a scavenger. Well, I say, your ability in the game limits you to teleporting around in a shield, reinforcing your members from a strong 36 player. While well, you're strong 41. Why spend all that money to be strong 41 if all you can do is reinforce people under a bubble? Under a bubble! By the way, I'm going to 37, but the upgrade already started, but it's not completed yet. So yeah, break your shield and attack me, Gene. Gene says, like I said, I was attacking other kingdoms where you're afraid to go. You suck. And I say, yeah, you must have been doing a lot of attacking. You came back here with a shield on. I suppose you kill every kingdom with a shield on, don't you, Gene? Like, how do you attack people while having a shield on? The story doesn't really make sense. This guy's making stuff up. You must have learned how to hack the game and attack with a shield on. Jack Saul taught you how to hack the game. Because Jack Saul is the hacker. So now I go to TWR. What's left of it? Because so everybody else left TWR to join SHT. They left these guys behind to die. Because they don't care about their members. They only care about saving themselves. So they all abandoned the alliance. Well, that guy lost like 500,000 troops. Here's got 200,000 troops. I left him here to die. Now he's dead.
They abandoned all these people. Why they leave TBR? Boom did. Look, a million troops. That's a lot of troops. But it's only stronghold 24. Why do you have a million troops when you're strong 24? I think level up your stronghold should come first before training a million troops. That's just me. Anyway, did did. He lost 14 million power. And he survived. Some of his troops survived after the first attack. I have to attack him a second time. That's impressive for strong 24. Well, he's dead now. Two attacks. 137,000 troops. I'll attack that guy while I type in chat. I'm seriously typing nonstop in chat. Attacking castles nonstop at the same time. Because no one ever attacks me. They're all too scared to attack me. They're all keyboard warriors. They just type in Kingdom Chat while I kill them and I type in Kingdom Chat. I can type and kill. All they can do is type and type. So this guy has 270,000 troops in like five castles at once. So I'll attack them all at the same time. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. And boom, dead. All these players got abandoned. Look at all those kills. It's like a million kills right there. See yep. TWR used to be one of the greatest alliances in the kingdom. Now it's reduced to being rank 10. Because I burned it down to the ground. Never had to flee in terror to join another alliance to try and find safety. I'm going to kill every single alliance one at a time. TBR is now deceased. Soon, every other alliance will be killed as well. They're all going to be obliterated one at a time. They'll have to keep on merging together to try and stop me, but it won't work. Why don't you guys just merge into one big alliance? Even if that happened, it still wouldn't be enough to stop me. You'd still die. So yeah, subscribe.